everyone, my name is Sloan and welcome to my YouTube channel. I am back at Tedler Garden Center. I think it's the third time I've been here in the last month and a half, which I'm not mad about, but I'm actually here because they did a Facebook Live plant sale and I bought a plant in that plant sale, so it was like cheaper than it would have been to buy it here. And so I'm here to pick it up. So I'll tell you more about what that plant is and show you it at the end. But I figured while I'm here, I could do at least a little bit of a plant shopping video. I know I just did like a really long one. So I'm not going to be quite as in depth as I normally am for plant shopping videos. If you follow me, you know that I usually show every single plant and I go very in depth. So this is going to be like not quite that, but at least I can show you if there's anything different than the last time I was here. We can see what's still here after a few weeks. And the most exciting thing, I almost forgot to tell you, all of the houseplants are 30% off today, including all of the super rare ones. Everything's 30% off today. So I maybe will purchase, you know, other other plants other than the one I'm here to pick up. And I'm also kind of in the market for some pots. I really need one for my philodendron gloriosum. If you don't know, a philodendron gloriosum is a crawler, and so it crawls kind of in a straight line. And so a lot of people will put theirs in a rectangular pot. And I don't know, I don't know what I'm gonna put mine in, but it's already like crawling out of the pot, so I need something. So maybe I'll find something today, maybe not, but let's go inside and see what they have. So they have this little Valentine's Day section. Um, there's a lot of people in here, but they're being very quiet, so I'm trying not to talk too loud. I figured we could take a look at the Anthurium cabinet. Looks like more of the similar things that were in here last time. Anthurium crystallinum for 130, Villanorum for 165. Still a lot over here in the Hoya section. One day when I figure Hoya out, I really want to get a Hoya Hescaliana. I really like them, but I don't trust myself with Hoya yet. Um, these are $100, but 30% off. More of the Hoyas. Those giant Hoya Carrieis that were up here sold. Looks like at least, I kind of, I remember looking at these last time. So that one's kind of falling out. Hoya Obovada Variegata for 55 I really like Hoya Obovada. Yeah, it looks like they have had a lot of plants sell over the past couple weeks, which is awesome. Um, I know this is the last weekend that they're open until the middle of March, I think. And they're not, I don't think they're normally open in the winter, so I've just been really pumped. They haven't been open in the winter at all. They have some variegated string of pearls for 15. Um, if you watched my last video, remember, or one of my videos, I don't know, uh, I mentioned that I was curious when variegated string of hearts would become available where I live, and I've seen them pop up at a couple plant shops recently, so I'm excited about that, because I really would like a variegated string of hearts. Um, these Buddhist temples are still here for 10. I just think this is the cutest little pot. Syngonium section has been cleared out quite a bit. There's still some stuff here. So here's the Caladium lindenii, which I've heard that Costa Farms has been making these. So they've been kind of showing up at uh, Walmarts and Lowe's and that kind of thing. Um, here is a Syngonium pink splash for 120. This one is a Syngonium Batik for 65. And again, all of the houseplants, 30% off. This one is a Syngonium pink splash. Apparently, it's not very pink, but it's $100. I like this leaf a lot. There's no pink on it, but it's pretty. This is a Syngonium Three Kings for $120. And some Raphidophora Dragon's Tail over here. Oh, here's a Homolomina something or other, <laughs> Golden Sunshine for 25, but it'd be 30% off. This Begonia Rex is flowering. It's really pretty and it's on sale for 15, it looks like. Hmm. This lipstick plant for 15 is actually flowering. I've never seen a lipstick plant flower in real life. And I know I want to get a lipstick plant at some point and I would prefer to get one that is flowering. I don't know if I, love these flowers or not. I'm gonna have to think about it because I love the ones that are like bright red, 
But look, there's all these buds too. Oh, that's so cool. They still have a bunch of Aglionema Pictum tricolors. I still feel like I should wait for my, for the best quality specimen, but this one, this one looks pretty good. And so they're 80, but they'd be 30% off. Ooh, I don't know. This is very much a wishlist plant of mine. They still have two variegated peace lilies, and I was really thinking of picking up one of these. Looks like their flowers are variegated as well, which is neat. But yeah, I've wanted one of these for a long time, and I just haven't done it yet, so today might be the day. They have some goldfish plants over here that are flowering, and if you know me, you know I never miss a chance to show a goldfish flower, and that's a perfect one. Ugh. I just want my goldfish plant to flower like this again. Look at that. They look like goldfish crackers. I mean, they also look like real goldfish, but especially a goldfish cracker. All of the super, super pretty marble queens that were here are gone. So I'm happy that those went to a really good home. Um, and they have these Scandapsis exoticas for 55 got some really big leaves and they do still have a variegated epipremnum pinnatum for 170 and this might be the same one that i saw when i came um it's definitely in the same place if it is the same one it's grown quite a bit since i was last here it looks like the variegated zz is still here i can't remember i think there were two last time i was here and this is 250. All of the Alocasia Hilo Beauties have been purchased, which I am not surprised about. I'm glad I picked up mine when I did, but the Alocasia Adora Variegated are still here. How much were these? I just looked, I already forgot 200. I do really like these, but not for that price today. And then the Alocasia Chantrary back there is still here or 172. So if you watched my last Ted Lair video, you will remember there were a lot of Monsteras here that have been very much picked over. There was definitely at least one Albo. Um, now all that's left is this $1,000 Thai constellation in terms of the, the variegated Monsteras. <coughs> There's a Trebuii Moonlight for $40 climbing up this moss pole. This is the Esquilito for 450. Looks a little more floppy than the last time I was here, but that leaf is giant. There is a, what is this, a Peru? No, Monstera Pinabardita for a hundred dollars. And I feel like this one starts with an L. I remember it from last time. Yes, the Monstera Lenchleriana for 240 is still here. Oh, I think I remember this Escalito from last time. Like, look, look at that leaf, crazy. They still have a Florida Ghost Mint for 225. I really want a Florida Ghost at some point. I've heard you can turn them into mints depending on how much light you get that, give them. I don't know how true that is. Um, these are Philodendron Paduformes for 80, but 30% off that. And the pink princesses are over here now. And look how pink this tiny little leaf is. Let's see what the price on this is. It's $600. I am not the biggest fan of pink princesses, but this leaf is really cute. There are some Mykins over here for 60. And this says it's an Epipremnum amplissima. Hmm, for 35. Oh, they still have a Melanochrysum. I still want a Melanochrysum <laughs> ever since I saw this one. And it's 180. And then I think this is a Varicosum and it, it doesn't have a price. Oh wait, there it is, 250. 
and I really want to varicose them now ever since I saw the ones here because I just hadn't seen either of these in person until I came here a few weeks ago. Here's the Philodendron Genoviverum, and now I really want one of these ever since I saw this the last time I came also, but I'd never even heard of this until recently, and it's 200. It's got these really cool stems. I like that they're fuzzy, kind of like the um, Philodendron Squamiferum, but these are white instead of red. I like the white better, actually, but I still want a Squamiferum, however you say it. These painted ladies are absolutely gorgeous and they are 70. I mean you can see why they have their name that looks like paint it's beautiful. Oh here is a really really nice specimen of a melanochrysum. Same price 180. It's gorgeous and then there is a squamiferum for a hundred hiding back here underneath this Jose Buono leaf which are all back there. There's so many and they're huge. I think there's four. Yeah, and they are 750 it looks like. They're massive. Oh, and there are some silver swords. I don't remember seeing these last time. They're 300, well, I guess the big one is 390 and then the smaller one is 100. I think, I, maybe I did see these last time, I don't know. Um, yeah, those are pretty nice and other than that, there's some anthurium over here, the anthurium genmanii for 250 and I kind of love this anthurium since I saw it last time too. I think it's the anthurium fingers. Yeah, the anthurium fingers for 65. They're so fun. I just love the name. It looks like there is one ficus shivriana left. The other ones have been purchased and yeah, they are 500. Crazy. I, yeah, they're so expensive. Hello everyone, I'm back in my car and I moved in the parking lot a little bit just so like the sun wouldn't be in my eyes. It's so sunny today, but I have a haul. I picked up some really exciting things, so let's get into it. First and foremost, I bought this pot for my Philodendron Gloriosum. So I've actually been looking at this pot since last summer. I, something about just the bright red poppies, the coloring of it, I've just really loved. Um, and I've just never bought it, but I think it'll be really nice for my Philodendron Gloriosum to have lots of room to crawl. Of course, you know, a rectangular pot would probably take up less space, but I think I have a really cute spot for this in my office. And it was $46, but I had a 25% off coupon. So I think that's like $34, which for this size of pot, I don't know, I don't know what the actual size is, but I think that's pretty good in my opinion. And I'm just really excited about it. All right, so this is my first plant purchase and I can hardly even get it on the screen. It's a variegated peace lily. So they had two different kinds, I think. I don't know that much about peace lilies, but uh, if you recall the ones that I showed actually in the plant shopping video, those two had flowers and the leaves were smaller. And I don't, I don't know what the difference is. If you know what the difference is, please let me know. I know that variegated peace lilies have different names. Like there's a domino one and I don't know what else, but uh, this is the one I got, which has a bit bigger leaves. I would say the variegation is a little bit more subtle than the other one, and there's no flowers on this one right now, but I think I have a really good spot for this. I would really love to put it on a plant stand. I don't have a plant stand, but you know, long term. And yeah, I've basically, I've been thinking about getting one of these since I saw them. I mean, gosh, I was thinking about getting one of these you know, weeks ago when I was at Ted Lair, but also even before then, I've just, I've wanted a peace lily and why not get a pretty speckly one? And, oh, and so this one was $30, but it was 30% off, so it was only $21. So yeah, I would say it's a pretty good deal. It's a six inch pot. Yeah, I'm really excited. Okay, so my final purchase, this is what I picked up on that Facebook Live plant sale and I am pumped. It's the Syngonium Pink Splash that I wanted to buy the first time I was here. And oh my gosh, you can't even see how pink it is because it's so sunny. Oh my goodness. How do I help you see that it's pink? We hold it in the, there you go, in the shadows. You can kind of see how pink it is. 
I am fairly certain this is the exact same one that I debated purchasing weeks ago. And it's normally $120 and I bought it for I think 80 and actually a little bit of backstory on that. So every year since I think like 2016, I have bought my boyfriend a plant for Valentine's Day. And within the last year, I have gotten really into plants. And so now I feel as though I cannot buy him a plant for Valentine's Day because that would be like buying myself a plant for Valentine's Day. And so I told him that and he was like, yeah, you can't buy me a plant for Valentine's Day. Like not now. Uh, but I was watching this Facebook live plant sale and I was like, oh, the pink splash that I really wanted is on the sale. And I like went back and forth and I couldn't decide whether or not to get it because it was, it was an expensive plant. This is the second most. Oh, there you can see the pink a little more now. This is the second most expensive plant I have ever purchased. But his idea was that we could split it and then it's like a Valentine's Day present for both of us. So I thought that was a really fun idea and I probably wouldn't have pulled the trigger if my boyfriend hadn't suggested that. But yeah, that's a little bit of the story behind this pink splash. And so um, it's a little bit of a Valentine's Day plant, I would say, since I mean, that is what it is, that we're treating it as kind of a val Valentine's Day present to both of us, but it's also a pink plant, so I think it's it's just doubly perfect. And if you subscribe to me on YouTube, you maybe have seen this video that I'll put up above where I talk about some of my goals for 2022, and one of those is to let myself purchase some more expensive, larger plants, and my thought process behind that was that so I can trade with other people, because right now, most of my plants that are uncommon and people would want to trade for are super duper small. So this is another plant that I will be able to hopefully trade with some people local to me very soon. So I'm excited to kind of have taken another step forward in my resolution. So that is all from me today. If you like this video, please subscribe. I love making plant shopping videos. That's a lot of my content. So if you like this type of thing, definitely subscribe. I would love it if you would like this video also, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.